Welcome to Otto's Tales, story time brought to you by PragerU Kids. I'm Jill, and today we're taking a trip to the beach with some brand new friends. Now, oh, this is fun to wear to the beach. Thank you, Otto. How pretty. Uh, you heard me saying we're going to the beach, right? Yes. And oh, a beach towel. Thank you. This will come in handy. Put that right there. Now, today's story is called Surfing Past Fear by Bethany Hamilton and Brave Books with art by Martine Moron. Now, <laughs> he's surfing. Very good, Otto. Be careful. Let's read Surfing Past Fear. Is there anything better than sunshine, white sand, and best friends? Olivia didn't think so. One summer, as they visited South Shore Beach, Olivia the Otter and her best friend Abby were learning to surf. The beach was packed with volleyball players volleying, sandcastle builders building, and of course, surfers surfing. One day, Abby smiled as they paddled out. Guess what, Livy? I signed us both up for the surfing competition. I already know what trick I'll do, and if you keep practicing, we'll find the perfect trick for you, too. I don't know if I could compete, Olivia's voice shook. Those surfers do some pretty scary moves. Abby lowered her voice like she was about to share a huge secret. I heard about someone who can do a one-armed handstand while surfing. Whoa, Olivia gasped. That must be the best surfer on the island. If you do that trick, everyone would flip out. Abby turned her board around. Want to try it? Olivia stiffened as she felt the waves swell underneath them. A one-armed handstand right now? I can't do that. Ah, don't be scared, Abby laughed. Olivia shut her eyes tight. The wave came up behind them, and for a moment, she thought she could do it. Olivia lifted her feet and started to pick up one hand when... Ouch! A shark came out of nowhere. Olivia woke up at the hospital, her arm wrapped in a bright pink waterproof cast. Abby sniffled. I'm so sorry I told you to do that handstand, Livy. I should have realized that you weren't ready. That's all right. I should have known better, Olivia sighed. For the next two weeks, Olivia and Abby built sandcastles on the beach. It was fun, but nothing like the thrill of the waves. Even after the doctor said she could surf again, Olivia couldn't find the courage to go back out. One day, a couple of nasty hyenas pointed to Olivia. What are you doing with a surfboard? Are you entering the surfing competition with a broken arm? <laughs> they laughed as they walked away. Olivia muttered to herself, They're right. I'm never surfing again. Never? That's a long time. The bear next to her raised his eyebrows. Olivia looked up. I can't do anything with my arm like this. The bear laughed. Who says you need two arms to surf? Olivia eyed the bear's missing arm. I was born like this, but it doesn't stop me from learning new things, he explained. Just try one wave. I'll hang back on the beach and give you tips. I don't think I can, Olivia gulped. Oh, that's just the fear talking, the bear grinned. Surfing may have been too hard last time, but that doesn't mean you'll fail today. You can start slow. Olivia took a deep breath and walked toward the waves. As she pushed herself up on the next big wave, Olivia felt fear swirling inside her. What are you doing with a surfboard? What if I fall? What if? What if? What if? What if? What if I hurt myself again? What if, what if? A wave crashed around Olivia and she tumbled under the foam. The water washed her ashore. See, Olivia cried as the bear helped her up. I told you I couldn't do it. I don't think surfing with one arm is even possible. The bear raised an eyebrow. You just have to tell yourself the truth. Watch this. 
he took his massive surfboard and paddled out. Abby walked up beside Olivia, watching the bear. Suddenly, he whipped around a wave and sprang forward, balancing on one hand. Olivia and Abby's jaws dropped. That's Moby, cried Abby. That's the surfer who can do the one-armed handstand. Olivia beamed. That was amazing. It just takes a little bit of work and a lot a bit of truth, Moby grinned. Want me to teach you? Abby's eyes were wide. Olivia, no, what if you get hurt again? Moby shrugged. You might, but you can't live in fear. Difficult things are a part of life, but they're also opportunities to learn and grow stronger. Olivia picked up her board. I don't want to be afraid, and with both of you helping me, I'm willing to take the risk. Wave after wave, Moby showed Olivia what to do. Every time she fell, she climbed back on her board, and by the end of the week, she was all tuckered out but ready for the competition. The next morning, all the surfers lined up on the beach. Olivia felt her stomach twisting as she waited for her turn. When the time came, she paddled out into the deep water. As she felt the perfect wave rise up behind her, Olivia jumped on her board. All the old fears began whirling around her, but Olivia remembered what was true. She knew she had practiced. She knew Abby and Moby had trained her well. She knew she could do this. So, at the right moment... Woo-hoo! The whole beach cheered as Olivia flipped into a flawless one-arm handstand. The judges were very impressed. Olivia won first place. Moby gave her a high paw and Abby gave Olivia a huge hug. Way to be brave, Livy. Olivia gave a little bow. I had a lot of help. All the surfers dashed into the water to celebrate. As they caught a huge wave, Olivia cheered. This is the best summer ever. The end. What a great story about being brave. Hey, Otto. Oh, boy, you're all wet. <laughs> I'm glad you had fun. Hey, Otto, have you ever been fearful of anything? <gasps> Me too. You know, the author of this story talks about fear in the back of this book. She says that fear is what we feel when we expect something bad to happen. Now, sometimes fear keeps us away from danger, which is a good thing, right? But sometimes fear can also hold us back from good things too. Uh, you know what the opposite of fear is? Trust! Trust is the opposite of fear. Because when we trust that we're safe with our family or with God, then we no longer have a reason to be afraid. I love this story. Don't you? <laughs> you know, we hope it helps you overcome something that you might be afraid of too. That's right. Way to be strong, Otto. High five, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching Otto's Tales. Check out some of our other stories too. Keep reading, keep watching, and keep being brave. What do you say we dry you off? Here you go, boy. <laughs> Bye. Thank you for watching. You know we've got more episodes, right? Watch the whole series and subscribe at PragerUKids.com.